And this, ladies and gentlemen, will be your arts versus math battle right here on the Google field. Red Alliance, are you guys ready? Blue Alliance, are you guys ready? The referees are ready. Countdown to autonomous here in three, two, one, go. Welcome to round robin match number three, a cone flying across the field right there. No doubt, perhaps a strategy to throw off an autonomous mode for an opponent robot. Red in stereo here, looking to score. One in the five zone, one in the 20, not to be outdone. The cavalry couldn't quite connect there. As always, we'll await the referee's official decision here. Taking out those Texas Instrument calculators, I'm sure, to tabulate this autonomous score to figure out who's gonna get the 10 point bonus. That was a tight one right there. Red with your autonomous bonus. Countdown to driver control in three, two, one, go. Real time scoring has red with roughly 24 point advantage right here. Let's see if blue can make that up. As the fastest mint in 45 of robotics is happening right here, the driver control period. These young women, these young men, these STEM geniuses showing off that thumb dexterity, hand eye coordination, those Xbox and PlayStation skills on full display right here. All four teams really working to clear the field of cones right now. 6627A loading over at their driver's station. 8059X, that's blank and blue, representing the math division, cleaning up in the far corner of the field. Not a lot of defense being played right now. This looks like it's going to be a couple of offensive juggernauts seeing who can get ahead the fastest with just about a minute left here in round robin match. Number three, 10 point zone score right there. That is a real big stack right there at a 66 27. That's nighttime bots. Big stationary stack for red as well. They have a command at least on that stationary goal. 169 E the cavalry. Under 40 seconds left here. They're gonna have some work to do if they're gonna catch up to Red as Red is slowly pulling away. However, as we come down the stretch here to 30 second mark, is still anyone's game. Red starting to stack up. Here comes Blue. Let's see what this does to the real time score. As always, that is an unofficial score, ladies and gentlemen. Red making a move over to the 10 point zone. Nice score right there. That might have sealed it. Both teams desperately trying to get a high stack right there in the stationary goal. Every piece of real estate matters right here, folks, and in the zone. Nothing is left to chance. That five point score right there, but the difference with four seconds left. Three, two, one, a little bit of contact at the end of that match. Wow. Folks, the field at the end of this match reminds me of a beautiful cityscape. Maybe New York City, some skyscrapers. Looking good right there. Having on display some real high stacks. I'm going to turn it back over to Karthik and Paul. Take it away, gentlemen. Thank you, Dave. You're right. Scr skyscrapers all over these places, these giant cone stacks, also means there aren't very many cones left on the field. I only counted about six upright cones that were available to stack at the end of that match. Yeah, so, I mean, you, you said it. The cone scarcity, the resource scarcity. <laughs> this arts and math teams, they came out of the box quick, trying to get some ownership of cones. There was a unique Auton strategy that was used um, that was used by math uh, wasn't effective. I, mean, I think we're going to see that on the replay later. But one other dynamic that I've seen is these teams are now actually descoring themselves to strategically score cones in other places. So using their mobile goals as kind of a storage device and then trying to do quick scores on those stationary goals. Because look, that's five bonus points if you own that, if you have the highest cone stack in that stationary goal. A lot of teams forget about that. Absolutely. Hey, we got a lot. We had a lot of exciting action in that match. Let's take a look at some of that. So this is a uh, you know middle of the match, um, a little bit of you know getting cones out of the way. People trying to get in a position to get a better angle at a lot of the like the cone. The, but those cones are all kind of clumped up in the corners there. Uh, both alliances trying to do the same thing. The, the corner right near the Google, right near the head referee, seemed to be wide open for the Blue Alliance. Uh, Red Alliance was kind of playing more in the middle of the field. So what I really found interesting about that match, in our, in our first three ra round robin matches, we've seen different styles. The first match when we had science versus technology, we had the two offense versus one offense and one defense. Here it was wide open, four offensive robots. Yeah, it's interesting with these four offensive robots. If you don't think you have the firepower against these robots, you're going to have to try maybe the one D and one offensive strategy. It's going to be tough. These, 
The <laughs> arts and math are fast, really fast. All right, looks like we have a score ready from that match. Let's see who pulled this one out. And there it is. Arts takes it 138 to 102. 59 cones stacked in that match of the 80. 34 stacked for red, 25 for blue. Great matchup here. And now let's take a look at our standings from our first round. Everyone's played one match.